Hey, starting a very quick video for you guys to show you something with the new photopolymer stamp sets. And just so you know, you're talking to Trisha Williams with Color Me Crazy Stamps, also known as CMC Stamps. And you can purchase with me anytime. I will make sure that I give you guys a link. Now, if you come to this as a demonstrator who owns Stampin' Up! product or a new customer who's learning Stampin' Up! product, there's been some awesome changes in the photopolymer case. Okay, it used to be that when you turned it around, you could see through. Let me show you how it used to be. One second. Okay, this is how we used to have our photopolymer see-through stamps, okay? There's a little bit of a glare, but you see that there's a little sleeve inside of this case. And this is a DVD case from Stampin' Up! So you can read this is a touch of ink. Now this is a retired stamp set, but just to show you how they used to be, okay? So you would open it up like, and I love that you could see through it, right? And I've heard a lot of feedback from a lot of demonstrators and stamping friends that said, darn it, I wish I could still see through it because I'll tell you how they changed it, but let's get to how it used to look first. So it would just be these little sleeves here. Okay, and then it was printed on one of these sleeves. So you could take one of these clear sheets off and then it would be just sticky underneath. And then of course you would take it off and you would put it on your block just like this. Just grab a block real quick. Okay, so you would grab a block like this and this one is size Stampin' Up! size D block. It's a go-to block, I would always suggest it. Okay, now that you have this off, see, you could put it on like this, or you could put the stamp side, which has the texture, down. And then you can add it onto your block by pushing onto a surface, okay? So that's how you do that. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks on the old style. Do you see how cool that is, a little hummingbird? So this is printed onto this sheet, this clear window sheet, okay? And then you would always have another clear window sheet to put on um, after. So I'm gonna take off my stamp set. This is kind of stamp set 101 for you. And I just, I saw a need to be able to show people. And hopefully you can hear, I have It's a Good Life from One Republic Plane. They're one of my favorite bands. All right, so now I put this back away and it came with an additional one just for this particular stamp set. So now I can put it away and then you can see the old style of photopolymer. See, so you've got those two sheets inside there. Let me show you the new ones. And by the way, did you know that it? we only have until the 30th, I think, September 30th, we have the end of September that there is a celebration cell. It is like one of the raddest celebration cells that Stampin' Up! does, you guys. I always get some amazing products during that time and I don't want you to miss out. I want you to grab some of those products. So this stamp set, which is current right now during celebration for only like, what is that? Two or three more days that you can get this free with any purchase of 50. So if you get 50, any increment of 50 or more, let's say you do 100 or 150 or 200, well, if you do 100, you get to pick out two items or one extra like bumped up awesome item that is like worth the $100 value. Okay, so either two or one of a like extra. If you do a $200, you're gonna end up with four of the 50. This one's a 50. So you get this reward for free. Okay, who wants to order? Okay, let me know what your orders are. All right, here's the textures and frames. This is a super fun stamp set and I'm hoping to feature it soon before the end of September because it's one of my favorites and some of my other favorites already sold out since it's always um, supp why supplies last. Okay, so textures and frames, check out. Okay, you turn it around and it gives you these amazing instructions. Okay, so here it is, The two you got the two um, window sheets, except this time it's not printed on one of them, okay? So you still get the window sheets in your photopolymer see-through stamp sets, and you take off one film, 
And then they're showing you how to go ahead and take it off and put it onto your block and then put it back when you're done. So step one, two, three, and four. Got it? Okay, so take it off, put it on your block, put it back. That's what I just showed you. But some people have said, dang it, and I'm included in this. I love that they have made a change on this, but now I miss seeing through my case to quickly see what stamp set it is. Like, let's say it's like this on my on my um, desk, and I wanna see quickly what it is without having to flip it over or read it on the side or, you know, I really like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. A really quick Trisha-ism, like a tip or trick, okay? All right, so now it's like this, see this? Boom. Do you see it? But there is nothing printed on these. So it's exactly the same with the two sheets. And you take one off. Um, let's say we're gonna put one of these on my stamp set because I'm gonna wanna use one of these even today. So I took it off its little sleeve and now you see that the sleeve here has it missing and it's ready to go on my block. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I would put it on my block. Once again, you can put this ridge stamp side down on your table and then just go ahead and pretend this is my table. Go ahead and pick it up like that. And of course, if you do it right, you can usually center it really well. Okay, so now it's ready on my block. And now this is where the change comes in. And if you're familiar with Stampin' Up, go ahead and just fast forward to this very end part because it is like, Mind blowing, pretty cool. And once I get ready to show you this next part, I'm gonna flip you so you can see my space, okay? All right, so no longer can see through it, kind of a bummer, but holy cow, now you can take these off of your block and you can store them directly on your case. So no more like moving them around, they're just there. And I love that. Okay, another hint for you if you do this, people had said to keep one of these, at least keep one, maybe two, and then put it back on there because sometimes this side of your case may accidentally, if you're pushing it, stick it there. And when you open it up, it may be on this side, not this side. And I know you want it there. Okay, so now let's figure out how Trisha, my Trisha tip, my little Trisha-ism tip of how I got this over here so now I can stamp it perfectly. Let me show you an example of one done the way that you should do it. Then let's flip the camera and get to it and then I'll be done. Hold up, hold up, wait for me. All right, this is my all time favorite. It's in the annual catalog, which goes all the way until next year, like mid next year. And I don't know the exact date, but this stamp set is amazing. You stamp the big thanks and then you can stamp the little thanks on top of it. So tend to go a little bit lighter colors on these ones and these more bold, darker colors and then it really pops. You can do all kinds of different combinations. Okay, get, let's get to it. Whew. This is one of the new ones, you guys. It's like, ah. <laughs> So you open it up and you see I've got a little sheet. And then of course I'm using all of these, but they can go on that little sheet. And then you see this right here. Yeah, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to do this where you backbend it and we'll show you how. 